little something different today. This is the SNES Classic. As you can see, I have it modded with Hakchi. I didn't do the the um, advanced stuff like put Genesis or Turbo Graphics or name on that because I have the dongle get the come because you need a dongle to work with this shit. Um, it's like this thing. I'll see if I can link to it in the video. You basically plug it into where the power goes, and it has a slot for a thumb drive. We're gonna go through some games on here. So some gameplay of games that uh, I also have the SNES 9X cord. Now I notice you need the RetroArch um, core in order to use the SNES core. So certain games that don't necessarily work normally with the SNES emulator, like uh, this one or this one, <coughs> like the Fireman or Collision of Gaia. Because there's a lot of SNES games that really don't work if you don't put the SNES 9X on it. And you can see they have the original games in their own separate folder. Different from the NES, the NES Classic, because the folders are just the games are just mixed with the folder. Because we obviously know these games work, so we're not gonna worry about that. <coughs> I'm gonna try starting with this game. It's actually a pretty good game. Very, very underrated with Hidden Gem. This is one of the games you need the SNES 9X Core for. One thing I hate about this game is you can't press A to continue the text. You just gotta let it go. for these smaller fighters and the Y button is used for the bigger fighters. Now you can use the B button for those fighters but obviously it's going to take longer. But if you're trying to get to some place and as insignificant as it may be it's best to put out any fighters you see because it affects your rating at the end of this stage. <clears throat> and yeah, you're gonna have to deal with that again. Fire spike. Fire starting up again. It's one of the reasons you have to get as much fire out as you can. It's not exactly a game you can just rush through. Great fucking time to have the text up right when I'm about to put out a fire. I have no idea if this is two players or not. I haven't even tried that. And by the way, you do have a time limit, so you can't just diddly daddly around. 
Hmm. And, and you see the life bar. There are lives in this game. But they're not represented down there. Those are um, smoke bombs. Like extinguisher bombs. They're actually better when you deal with bosses. By the way, there's actually a map, if you're looking in the upper corner. White is obviously where you've been. I'm not sure where red is, but I know blue is where you haven't been. Again, talking when I'm trying to get a fire to extinguish. You would think, extinguish the fire, then talk to the fucking guy. Hey, get him to safety and get the hell out of my way. And they're being, being the fucking Marty Jannetty with the damn two of us. <clears throat> Be careful! Uh, no shit. There's a fire. Why wouldn't you be careful? Yeah, see, you have robots that can blow up. By the way, Ace to crawl and you're gonna need that in certain rooms. Because you're gonna find there's pipes that you can't extinguish, so you just gotta crawl under. Chopping down a fire using an axe. I've heard of people, you know, I've heard of them actually getting the doors using that. Not to extinguish a fire. <clears throat> and by the way, just like Die Hard, I, don't, I think they probably ripped it off somehow. Yeah, you're in a fucking... You're in a bu office building on Christmas Day. That sounds a lot like Die Hard. I notice using the slower fire extinguish is the better thing, especially when you're going through a stage. Certain parts you have to fall. Yeah, this is one of the stages you have to do. Yeah, because there's no way you can extinguish that to shoot him out.
Хм. Good girl. Where are you? Let's see how the bomb actually works. Maybe I'll use it. I'm probably gonna have to use a continue here pretty soon. Especially when it comes to that boss. Bosses are a giant fire. You have to swing or something. Because of that asshole, I couldn't get over there. Okay, see, this is a boss right there. Continue, yes. And just like that, the boss is dead. Fucking hundred percent, and it's on tape. Sweet. <coughs> First time that's ever happened. Might as well reset it. And by the way, this actually does work. This one is, I can't fucking believe this wasn't on the classic. They put that piece of shit Kirby's Dream Course on there that nobody wanted, but excluded Jerk Kirby's Dream Land 3. Never understand it. I know there was issues at first with this game, from what I understand, but... If there truly was issues, you're fucking Nintendo. <laughs> Make a better emulator. If I'm not mistaken, I think this was released on the Wii or the Wii U. Because at the end, because at the end of the day, what the SNES Classic really is is pretty much the equivalent of a Raspberry Pi with a Linux kernel. <coughs> Which is why people are able to hack it. I'm gonna go with the guinea pig. I choose you. Come on. What the fuck is that? There we go, I have to press the X button. So it's the guinea pig on the box, might as well use him. Just like I can. It's been a long time since I played Kirby's Dream Land 3. Hey, that was weird when I was a kid, you know? The first two games were on Game Boy, now all of a sudden the third one's on the Super Nintendo. One of the reasons why this thing is easily hacked is not because of anything Nintendo put in it. It's because it's part. It's a Linux box. Basically, it's a, res it's a Raspberry Pi with a Linux kernel that's dressed up in a mini version of their consoles. So by the Linux agreement, anything that's Linux must be user serviceable, which means that it's open source, anybody can hack it, 
Anybody can add their own software to it. Which is why you notice how Nintendo isn't going after anyone who's modding the NES, the NES Classic or the SNES Classic. It's because they can't because that's technically a violation of the Linux agreement if they do. So, good to know. But even then, it's still amazing what they could do with this box. I mean, the fact they got PlayStation working on here. PlayStation. You know, a game, a system that came out after the Super Nintendo. The fact that they got Nintendo 64. It's insane. <coughs> And by the way, for, you know, for those people that are pointing out, or would point out, that how the hell are you going to play a PlayStation game for the Super Controller? Uh, just be reminded that the ports are classic controller ports. So, and it's, so you can basically use a classic controller pro on this thing. You obviously need an extension cord, but it can be done. That's how you get to cheat in both the systems that, if you have that controller hooked up and press home, you can actually get to the menu without getting off your ass and pressing the reset button. What the hell am I doing? Invincible. And not anymore. But it was. Can't wait for that. I guess I wasn't gonna get the dongle at first, but. Once my friend heard about it, he was like, dude, I have to get one. And he gives me an excuse to tool around with it. Make sure it's working for him. Make sure it's working for me before I get his to work. <coughs> Lucky shot. So we're gonna reset. Save state. Yeah, I know. Don't fucking tell me. Show this off a little bit since it's in Japanese, but Picross is Picross. Actually, saves my data, which is pretty cool. By the way, don't click on this if you know how to, how to play Picross. Since all that's a demo video. to know obviously I can't. what I'd like to know in all honesty is I know that the SNES Linux core is used for games that don't work with the built-in emulator but once you program the core into the Super Nintendo Classic um, does the SNES, the SNES 9X core take over the entire system? Or does it still use the built-in emulator for the certain games, for the games you put on here? And you just make that exception when you're programming games that don't work. <coughs> In other words, is the Super Nintendo emulator permanent? Or... That's what I'd like to know. Crap. Okay, oh, I was about to say, where the hell else can it be? They're all Japanese characters, these first puzzles. By the way, translations work on here for the most part that I've tried personally. The only one I haven't tried, and I'm pretty sure I could fix it, but I don't know, don't hold me to it, is... Um, I don't know what the fuck the Japanese name is, but pretty much the sequel to Secret of Mana. And that's because usually when the games go on the Super Nintendo Classic, they're compressed. Because it only has so much memory, but... I know this is garbled graphics, so... What I'm going to attempt to do is, next time I screw around with this thing, is... uncompress it and see what happens. Oh. <coughs> 
maxed out then that obviously means that that should work. That doesn't work. These all should. The big secret with the cross is figuring out what's obvious. Figure that out, you should be alright. For example, um, I got time left, I don't give a fuck. Um, since I filled out two across, there's no more to be filled in still here, so you X all of these and make sure you know not to touch them. And you just continue with this. Like, here, for example, that led to the third one, so I can X all these out. So I have two and three here. And by the way, they're in that exact order. You need two first, then you need the three. And see if there are these all blanks. So, because math, basic math is also required in this game too. If you want to be successful. And just remember, if the numbers call for it, there's no space in between the numbers. You gotta do it together. So two and two, it's two and two. So you got one, two, and two. So we got one, two, and two. So we can X this out. We got four, so we got a space there so we can click on that. And that's your puzzle. This is addictive as so hell. I can sit here and do this for hours. It's also it's very relaxing, but it puts your brain to the test. Set. I don't really need to save because it has the same battery. But I think this is one of the games that needed the SNES 9X core. But what I'm really going to be impressed with, and that will really make this thing worth the $80 that it goes for, especially when you got the analog NT now that can play this SD to SNES, that's twice as much, if not more, and doesn't include a controller. SNES 9X, if you're playing it on a PC, now has the ability to play MSU1 games. And those are the games with the big CD soundtracks. I love to be able to see if they can get a core working for the Super Nintendo Classic. Especially since you can play PS1 games on this fucking thing. That you're, you can play the MSU1 games right on the SNES Classic. Especially since this thing can actually play Super FX games. So, unlike the SD Dispense, you can actually play the MSU 1 version of Yoshi's Island, but just got released. And the big deal for Mega Man X2 and X3 is that they use the CX4 chip. Which I don't even know the SNS Classic can emulate. That's what I'm saying. I'm not sure. This actually will actually tell you. At least the CE version will actually tell you plus games now not to work with the emulator. Do you want to have it go to a third party emulator instead? And they'll put a, a patch in where it'll boot with the SNES 9X core instead of the broken emulator. <coughs> at least that's my understanding. At least I don't fully know how this whole thing works in my program. Tommy Wiseau is a big, a big thing now. <laughs> In person, I always like the guy. <coughs> but since he's actually like a thing now, it'd be great to have him sit down and play video games and just do comments on certain games. Like plot twists and shit like that. Oh no! He's enemy now! Sit down and just play more of yourself. You mean... Master Miller was liquid the whole time! Oh no! Or, or even Final Fantasy VII, when Eris dies. One life and that's it, I forgot about that. Final Fantasy VII, when Eris dies. You're telling me a pot, Sephiroth! Okay, here's another game that should have been on here, but wasn't. 
Come. This should have been a no-brainer. Especially if you have fucking Mario World and Yoshi's Island on here. Ah, shit! I will say, one thing I don't understand about the SNES Classic as opposed to the NES Classic... The SNES Classic has... 21 games, if you count Star Fox 2. The NES Classic has 30. Why couldn't they just do the same with this system, have 30 games? You could have Mario All-Stars, you could have put Yoshi's Dream Land 3 on here. I mean, Kirby's Dream Land 3. <coughs> could have put Chrono Trigger. Could have put fucking... You know, both, you know, all three Donkey Kong countries. Especially since apparently Nintendo would rather do this than the virtual console for the Switch. Which, Nintendo's starting to learn that lesson now. Nintendo learned two lessons with the Switch, actually. First of all, you don't use off-the-shelf parts if you want a system that is proprietary. Because the NVIDIA chip they were using for the Switch has been, is an older chip and has been mapped out as... What the hell's the word I'm looking for? <coughs> extensively. That's it. It's been mapped out extensively so everyone knows the entry points and the weak points of that damn chip. And second of all, you never give hackers a reason to do something. For example, one of the reasons the PlayStation 4 is hacked at this very moment and why I was getting work started on it is because hackers wanted to be able to play PT on their si be able to download PT whenever they wanted to their systems when Sony wouldn't let them. Or wanted to actually play the game, so they wound up hacking the damn system to be able to do so. Because what was the first game, quote unquote, game released for the fucking 405 jailbreak? PT. You know that like game Sony didn't want downloaded again? The very first package, very first game package was PT. Much like why people are hacking the Switch now, simply because there's no virtual console and Nintendo keeps dicking people around with it. It is, it isn't, it is, it isn't, it is, it isn't. Now all of a sudden we're not gonna have the online service and paid online until September. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Let's see here. Oh, my buddy Lewis taught me this trick. Ah, fuck. Oh, it's just still working even though it's missing a brick. And... Mm. So you can't just suck yourself in like you used to be able to in this version. Ah, crap, he's still around.
I like it. Still do this. <coughs> Crap. Oh. Could sometimes get that to work. We could just jump off the middle block and still get the 5,000. I got the fireworks, so I guess that's a good thing. I'm in, in the underground here. I thought I shorted that jump. Because the physics are so much different on the Super Nintendo. By the way, because there's something in the background here. Here's a general rule of thumb. When you see something advertised on TV, um... If they offer you a second one for free, it's usually garbage. Because that means they can't get rid of them. So it may seem like a good deal. Hey, I'm getting two for one price, but in reality they're trash and you should avoid them. Because if it's really worth your money, a lot of times to sweeten the deal, they'll give you like free shipping or something else with it. They wouldn't give you two of the same fucking item. <coughs> Ah, oh, shit. Shit. Oh. Let's... Now, this is really cool. This is actually finally got English patched. As you can see, it's working on here. <coughs> Excuse me. Isn't it funny the Nintendo nerd brings something up and now all of a sudden people are interested in it? Because let's be honest, this would never have gotten an English translation if it wasn't for the nerd playing it in his video. Just like the fucking Transformers game for the Super Famicom didn't even have... Well, it's a lesson. I meant to play the actual game. It wouldn't have had a translation if it wasn't for the nerd episode where he was complaining, I can't read this. I beat the game, there's an ending I can't read. See, to me, I always get a little frustrated with this game, mainly because I can't get the fucking hoverboard mechanics correct. See, he can zoom in. Sometimes I be sitting there's oh it's a good back to the future game. I don't know why it wasn't released in America. I can tell you exactly why. The controls are just bad. Like it feels like you're playing tug of war with your controller. If it looks like I'm playing shoddily, it's because I am. Like you have a different button. You have one button that actually makes you go faster, one button to jump, another button to sit in place and do an attack. It's that kind of control that you feel like there's a, like when you're pu pushing on the D-pad that there's a weight behind it. It's kind of hard to explain. Like right now, like just going like this, I feel like there's a weight on the D-pad that I can't really move my character because of that. Like it's almost like a workout just to move your character. this way. I don't know how you can fight a boss. I mean, sure, it's better than the LGN games, but that's not exactly saying anything. It's almost like saying, I'd rather, ta I'd rather take a solid shit than a liquid shit. It's because the game looks promising. 
It's just the fact that the controls are horrible. Instead of being just a simple platformer, <coughs> you got, you know, it, 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 it's, I could practically ride an actual skateboard with my big ass rather than, you know, it'd be easier than playing this game. That's honestly how I see it, and you'll see how bad it is here. So you're basically meant to play the tutorial because at least you get extra coins. Now watch. Kill an enemy, right? Okay, you jump on it, but you're supposed to be able to flip your skateboard up and kick him with it like that. Problem is, a lot of times you can't. See how hard it is? just to get on that platform where you could jump and it seems like you're not jump you're only jumping straight up and not in a curve watch so you saw it that time and see I jumped on an enemy yet he was able to damage me still Even though he did a kick flip to the enemy, he's that's supposed to give him damage. Yeah. I think you get the point. I have no idea. Let's show you a piece of shit. Stunt Racer FX. This game fucking sucks, and believe me, it sucks even back then. There's still a little glitchiness with it. Sorry about the background noise. By the way, dude, this game did suck even when I was a kid. Running it from the video store, you know, with my friend Super Nintendo. Going, what the hell is this? And going back to play Mario Kart. Shortly after. Almost like Nintendo said, quick, come up with another thing for the Super FX jet. Well, Sega's got that fucking racer. Oh, well, yeah. Let's make one. Atari's got that thing for the Jaguar. We'll make a racing game. I think it's funny they call it Stunt Race FX, yet there's no such thing as fucking stunts in this game. It's not that I remember. What stunts can you do? Ramming into your opponent? Coming in second place when the steering sucks? Try this because this, I think, uses the built in Super Nintendo on you. This uses the SNES 9X core, this uses a chip of its own. <coughs> yeah, 
You'd think people go in the other room. They need to use the phone, yeah. But alas, shit, you know, shit doesn't go the way you need it to. Use auto for the sake of this video. Yeah. At least you can finally play this game on a, on a Super Nintendo <laughs> without it fucking overheating your system. That was the thing with these carts. Made the Super Nintendo hot as a motherfucker. And that was another thing you see when it said the fight screen. You know, that scared the crap out of us. You're like, is the cart frozen? Is something wrong with the game? No. That's just how it is. <coughs> so apparently this game actually decompresses on the fly, I think. Like, uncompressed the game's like fucking 64 megabytes or some shit. I forget. Let me show you this real quick to show you what I mean. See how it's all glitched up in graphics? Yeah, Fucked up. That's supposed to be uncompressed. Games. Yeah, let's torture myself because I'm already torturing myself listening to this shit. So I might as well torture myself even more. Play Super Star Wars. These fucking games are for sadists. Even I'm easy. Kids, these games seem so fun, even though they were hard, because we didn't know any better. We like, well, fucking Star Wars, you know, how, how could they fuck it up? You know, I really saw, I really didn't really become a fan or sit down, really sit down and watch the movies until like 95, 96. <coughs> Characters were and everything. It's just it's kind of hard to sit down and watch it if you're a fucking child. You don't have the, really the patience for it. But yeah, we had the patience to play this game. So who the fuck figured? Off a while ago. Get the fuck 
out of here. Get Following me around like a baby mom. Get the hell out of here. Chasing you around like your baby mom. Where's my money at? Johnny needs diapers. My bitch, I told you that kid ain't mine. He looked just like you. That's as they've become a biologist, you know? Become a fucking DNA specialist. You see that shit all the time on Mori. He got his eyes. He, he got his nappy head. You know, sisters, you know, they... A lot of times, man, when they want their shit, they become... They, they think they're fucking genealogists. They think they're biologists. They think they're doctors. They think they're lawyers. Fucking private detectives. Lori, I found somebody else's panties in my bed in my bedroom. Meanwhile, your sister slept over a couple days ago. By the way, you really don't even understand why there was a fucking turbo fire for the Super Nintendo, like why those controls were offended? Games like this. This is what. Get this motherfucker 90 million times with a powered up pistol and you still can't kill the son of a bitch. Instead of the Sarlacc Pit monster, it should be called Jason the Porgies. Ah, damn! There you go. And it gets even worse from here. This fucking stage! You think killing Jaw was be easy, right? Nope. No, sir. A lot of times you run out of time, run out of gas, or be pushed into a hole you can't get out of. You know what would have fucking helped here? Fucking map. Fucking map would have really helped here, you know? It's a turning as a son of a bitch in this game. You would think, you would think, hey, you know, fucking, you use the solder buttons, you know, show the buttons to turn, but no such luck. Fuck, how do you turn? Son of a bitch. Oh, now you fucking turn it because you blow up. Oh, you gotta press the R button. That, that's one of the stupidest fucking controls I've ever heard of. You gotta hold the R button and then spin in the direction you're going. staying in the house too because I'm the, I want to be a YouTube douchebag like some of the fucking assholes that you see on there because it, it, yeah YouTube can give money to some dickhead that could fucking that could fucking show off a dead body and the taser of fucking brats on if you've seen that shit some asshole like that can make some shit up god damn it That's why I call these YouTubers douchebags. That's pretty much what they are. And I haven't been proven wrong yet. I have not been proven wrong yet. They've always fucked up. Oh. Logan Paul, they took his fucking... They took his... They closed his fucking channel. And closed in these fucking interviews. All like apologetic and shit. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. 
need to fucking taser and rats. I'm sitting there tasering rats and shit. Canister. Oh, you did it. Much more fun killing Jawas in Battlefront. You know, if they really want to be masochists, they could have put a time limit on this fucking thing. Thank God they didn't. Head towards sand crawling. Where? Oh. Oh, I don't see a fucking sand crawler. Motherfucker. Seriously, and then, and then all of a sudden they fucking show it. I suck my dick. I ain't doing the stage again. Fuck that shit. Let's play some turtles in time. This is one of those MSU one games, by the way. Oh, it's not fair. It'd be nice if they put the like, arcade intro with the pizza pop or game song. That's the best part about playing single player. You don't have to worry about fighting these motherfuckers for pizza. I need the pizza more than you. No, fuck you, man. I need the pizza more. The fights in the fucking arcade. Oh, you got more health. Yeah, but I got less of lives. I'll fist fight motherfuckers in the arcade for that shit. I'll straight fist fight motherfuckers. Man. Shit. Up by the manager of Winston doing that shit. <laughs> Fighting over the pizza. Basically, the angel of me throwing one of my fucking friends in a little <laughs> fucking arcade machine. <laughs> just straight, just straight arm drag that motherfucker. Baxter's talking. God damn it. Come down here. Yeah. I understand why the Simpsons game didn't get a release on the home consoles, the arcade game. You know, I guess you could say, well, Claim had the license. 
Yeah, let's play. I'm gonna release arcade games before. I'm gonna license them out from other people. They could have done it. Oh, it's all a claim that is ripped off people. Die! Fucking friend. But yeah, my fucking friend tried to charge me. We reset this thing. Friend tried to charge me. Put, grabbed him by the arm, flipped him over right into the fucking machine. All over a fucking pizza. This is it's another problem game that comes up. <coughs> Let's work with the NES 9X Core. It's the one. Was banned for some market for some fucking reason. I think somebody else owned it or some shit like that. like too similar to one of so many fucking games or something I forget oh shit I'm supposed to go this way motherfucker <laughs> People find this shit fun. It's fucking annoying to me, especially when you don't know where the fuck you're going. I'm on a microphone. Mm -hmm. Couldn't wait till I'm done with this. Get the microphone from here. Super WrestleMania. Probably pro tip for this fucking game. If you're playing against the warrior and you get hit with his clothesline, you're fucking dumb. Guy literally runs in place for like five seconds, giving you enough time to duck. And he can't do anything after he launches himself. Sculptured software garbage. And I say garbage because that's exactly what the fuck this is. At least the rare games, the ones that they developed, were actually entertaining. This one's just crap. Look at that. Can barely throw a damn drop kick. Can barely do a tie up. I hit a drop kick. 
It's a get. It's a fucking miracle. So wait, all that time he didn't hit him? What the fuck? That's a fun look, I've been watching wrestling since 1986, and that's the first time <laughs> I've ever seen someone get run, do a run to the ropes and then just fall off just fall back once they hit the ropes. You're supposed to bounce off the ropes, you're not supposed to hit into them like a brick wall. <coughs> There's a way to do the fucking lay drop. I forget how. <sighs> well, let's let's a stream. Let's go to the computer. Let's see how you do it. Let's see here, Super WrestleMania. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on, I have a fucking gigabyte connection. Oh, well, this is Genesis. I'm not playing the Genesis. I'm playing the Super Nintendo. <coughs> FAQ move list. This might help. Genesis again. Son of a bitch. Really? And fuck you, Game Facts. FAQs. Uh, right, let's see what we got here. X is pin. This is not helping at all. It'd be nice to figure out how to pull it off. It says it does not contain signature moves, but I know damn well Hogan has a leg drop in this fucking game. <clears throat> Let me see if I can figure it out myself. That's not the leg drop, by the way. I get... Fuck, get the hell up. I was going to make this miraculous comeback. It's an elbow drop. Imagine my the friends that I know that are wrestlers. And again, this game, this fucking game has Hulk Hogan doing a drop kick. Yes, that was a fart, and basically, 
shows you my opinions on this game. Well, X is supposed to be pinned, but it, it, now it One, finally works. Two, three. Well, so that motherfucker kicks out of bullshit. That's literally all there is to it. Hulk goes over on everyone. Uh. By the way, that's one of the games that didn't work with the normal emulator. I'm curious to see how this is, because... I don't even remember. To be honest, I spent so much time on the Nintendo version. I never even played the fucking Super Nintendo version. So this should be... Should be... Unique. It was hot in 93. Oh, shit. I think Dallas probably never picked Dallas. Fuck Dallas. There's a 49. I'll pick the 49. I know who the worst team was back then. <laughs> that shit. Oh, you can select clear, rain, or snow. Let's go with rain. That sounds... I know I'm probably going to regret it, but... Sounds interesting enough. It's got the full logos, by the way. I'm going to return it because I'm going to play a little bit of it. <clears throat> oh, looks okay. It's a slightly upgraded version of the suit of the fucking Nintendo game. Let's see here. Seriously? What the fuck are my players? He caught the ball. First down. I may be wrong about this, but I doubt this game has Bo Jackson in it. So if a guy stands right there, the pass is not going to be caught. Ready, set, put, put. So you just got to stand there and that's it. <sighs> this is definitely not like the Nintendo game, I can tell you that much. This is a lot worse. The NES game you can make see spectacular plays. First down. <coughs> this game you can barely struggle to catch a ball. Touchdown. Hey, Yay, Jets suck. I think you're waving the wrong finger. I would give him the middle one myself. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, what the fuck? Did you see that? Fuckers can't even catch the Jets. Right at the goal line. Yeah. 
Select the folder. No, not the original games. Let's let's play this and show you how bad this game is. Because I don't know if you guys remember how fucking shitty this game was. Imagine it's 1994. And you spent like 70, 80 bucks on this fucking thing. To be treated with this. Oh, well, it's pretty from the close up, but. You can't even make out the enemies. You can't even make out your pickups. But I don't like the Genesis version, this 32X, at least it has all the damn levels. 32X version looks good, but it's missing half the levels. I know it's supposed to be pixel perfect, but I mean, you think, I mean, composite this prop, this looked horrible. Now it's an HDMI. I'm trying to find a secret door, that's what I mean. So I know you can get the shotgun in the first level, I just forget how. It's been so long. Well, there's much else to do in this game. Especially when you can barely make out where you're going. store. So my godmother had a Super Nintendo. As well as a Genesis and Food vs. Who's a Junkie for this shit. And she had this on PC. So it's like, oh, I wonder how it's going to work on a Super Nintendo. It's got the Super FX2. Not, not Super FX1. No, Super FX2. Pop the fucking game in the system and it looks like this. <laughs> Oh man, thank God I rented it. If I would have paid the 80 bucks for this, I would have been pissed. Because also you gotta factor in 1994, right? You had the Atari Jaguar version out, and you had the 3DO version out if you're lucky to even see those. <coughs> and they were great! Much better than this garbage. I remember when the PlayStation came out and it came out with a custom PlayStation edition of Doom. And it looked amazing. The music was shit, because they reorchestrated the music. It was fucking fantastic. It was back before Columbine where they actually had school computers filled with this shit. And they had the sheets on the chalkboard. And they actually encouraged you to play this because it says got to die out your aggression. Man, I miss those fucking games. See what I'm saying? How slow this game is? Let's end this shit. Ugh. It's the only good thing this game had over the Genesis version. More levels and the fact that it had the um had better music. this game because this, this is this one because this is one of the later releases I think this came out in 97 as well I'm not sure 96 or 97 still you would think they'd have all three Donkey Kong games on this collection in 96 so I was not too too far off 
Look, V VCRs, remember these? These things you put these gigantic tapes into. It plays a movie, you can fast forward it, and 20 years later, it actually remembers where you left off. <coughs> to me, I never... Oh, look, it's got a Nintendo 64. That's real nice. Tease the people with the Super Nintendo. Hey, your system sucks. To be honest with you, I really never really cared too much for the Donkey Kong Country games after the first one because they changed so much of it that it was like, well, what's the point? Have had to be just straightforward. <coughs> it's almost like they made these games just to keep the Super Nintendo on its last legs. Token at least. You little bastard, come here. Where the fuck are you? Get over here. I understand you're a toddler, you can't be that fucking stupid, can you? Okay, so that didn't work. There's no way to swim under, I don't think. Yeah, there's no way to go under. We break the ground and get to that barrel. This idiot can actually break something. You know, like can... Well, he really has no superpowers at all. I got to that one. Fifteen bananas. Oh, 
by the way, like I said, for this channel, for gameplay footage, I'm gonna try to be varied. It's not gonna be just PlayStation all the time. Look at this Dumbo over here, can't do shit. Put Grun like a little bitch. Hey, what the fuck? Get over here! Because usually animals in Donkey Kong Country, they can attack. This little fuck nugget can't do anything. Little pussy. Come here! Instinct. It's pretty good, all things considered. I remember playing this game in the arcades a lot. Especially with that message that they happen to take out of this game. Coming in 1995, Ultra 64. <laughs> That's so why when we saw it was being made for the Super Nintendo, we freaked. I didn't figure out how to do the compass. I always suck at this game. But anyway, freaked because it was coming to the Super Nintendo because we were told, oh, it's going to come on this brand new console called the Ultra 64. I can never figure out what the fuck the block button is in this game. Continue. I'll try somebody else. Jago. Yeah, but in the arcade game that actually moves. I think we got even more impressed when it came out for the Game Boy. <laughs> but how the fuck did you manage that? say this, you know? I, I mean, I don't mind the projectiles and shit, but having fucking weapons in fighting games is bullshit. You're supposed to be fighting with your fists and your legs. You're not supposed to be fighting with weapons. That's why when I knew Mortal Kombat was going to hell. And fucking... I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah don't get me wrong, Soul Calibur is a good series, but at least you can counter weapon attacks and shit like that. But when you got certain fucking characters that have weapons, certain ones that don't, it makes it unbalanced. Let's see here. I don't think I went to here yet, did I? Oh yeah, I did. I'm trying to play one more game real quick. later on when I figure out how to put them on here. Figure out how the dongle works. Oh, of course you have to play this. Well, that's not supposed to be Hulk Hogan at all, no sir. Oh, 
a little longer since playing on a stream here. I, I know Gunlock is Russian, but it's, no, that's for Gunlock's American. Biff is Russian. Oh, there goes my point. That's another re weird thing I never understood. Why couldn't the sequel get on any console? Maybe in Japan, I don't even think we got a home release. But it just shows you, like, you know, especially now that I got the pixel perfect. Um, enabled on the Super Nintendo Classic. Ah, shit. Like how out of place the Super Nintendo games were sometimes. As you can see, most of the screen on top is black. And it's extremely crushed. You can see the sacrifices the Super Nintendo had to make to get certain games on the system. I'm trying to do a suplex move. Did not have it happen to me. Why does he back off? Like he grabs him and goes, oh shit, I'm sorry. I'm not the move I wanted to do, but it got the job done. Down as a suplex count. Shit. And that's basically what I say to Sasha's husband. Or excuse me, her wife. Oh, my grandmother's tougher than me. Mexico. Fuck is sitting there. Wait until the boys show up. I think all of a sudden get mad because people are calling his wife a sloppy green bitch, which she is. There's nothing until the boys show up and it's like, Yeah, motherfucker, I'll kick your ass! And yeah, when you go looking for him, say, at uh, certain hotels when they come to the Prudential Center or the Garden, motherfucker's nowhere to be found even though you ask for him by name. by Vader over here. I don't know why the guy's a fucking pussy. It won't grab anybody. He goes for a suplex all of a sudden. It's, oh, shit. That is the SNES Classic so far. And, uh, I'm going to try to cut the video off because the USB thing should, here, this should be here soon. Hopefully I'll have some more games by the time I do this again. So, I'm going to end the stream for now, so I'm signing off.